Yo what's up guys this is Atrix here today I'll be showing you guys the updated 2023 best settings for both Citra MMJ and official Citra Android these will give you the best amount of FPS possible and I'll also show you guys how to edit the configuration file to unlock secret settings for Citra emulator we'll be starting off with official Citra Android I'm currently on its latest build was released about three days ago and is the current latest build of official Citra Android let's go to settings and if you guys remember then in the Canary 2485 build they added a new feature in graphics where you could choose the Vulkan graphics API. OpenGL ES graphics API works the best for Snapdragon Android devices but if you have an Mali GPU Android device, I also have latest Citra Canary build which is 2519 loaded on my Android device. I can just go ahead and open settings, go to graphics tab. Here you will see that there are new settings like graphics API, SPIRV shader generation and much more. So I'll be showing the best settings for Canary Nightly as well as MMJs. Let's go back to Nightly build first. So graphics API should be open GL. Internal resolution set it according to your device specification. For low end devices, I recommend you guys use 1x internal resolution and we can also modify the configuration which I'll be showing you later on. Enable linear filtering option will make the game visuals to appear smoother but I recommend you guys to disable this option. Accurate shader multiplication also disable this. Make sure to enable disk shader catch and these are the graphics settings for low end devices. Let's scroll down. If you face any graphical glitches then I recommend you to enable accurate shader multiplication. Go to the general settings. Enable speed limit option just make sure to disable this because we'll be modifying the speed limit percentage through the configuration and once that has been done we can go to audio and make sure to disable the enable audio stretching option just untick it. Now we are all set with the best settings for official Citra Android nightly build. With these default settings, without modifying the configuration, you will still get good amount of FPS. Once you open the game there will be few additional settings so let me click on don't allow, click on ok. And now let me press back and there we go we have some additional settings. I always recommend you guys to enable the show FPS option and at the top left corner you will be able to see that I am getting over 700 plus FPS and 1000 plus speed percentage. Now I am getting such good amount of FPS because I have modified the configuration in my previous video. So let me quickly close game and show you guys what I am talking about. So just go ahead and open any file manager go to citra-emu folder. Afterwards open the configuration folder. Now there will be 3 to 4 files. The first file is configure.ini. The second file will be configure.mmj.ini if you guys use the Citra MMJ Android as well. So let's start with official Citra Android's configuration file. Click on open and use any text editor. Once you enter a text editor, you will notice lot of stuff written here. In the core settings option, what you guys have to do is just go ahead and tap here and then type 1. Now we have enabled CPU JIT. The next option is overclocking. These settings can be only modified with the help of configuration. We can also underclock. It will improve the performance of the game at the risk of freezing. But if we overclock, it will fix some lag. Underclocking means that the CPU clock percentage right here should be below 100. Whereas if you want to overclock your game, it should be above 100 as the default overclock is 100. The range is 25 to 400. So let's overclock our Citra emulator. Let's keep it at 250 for now. Now in the renderer, what you have to do is just go ahead and scroll down. And here you can see we have enabled the accurate shader multiplication. That's why the value is 1. In terms of asynchronous GPU emulation, the default is on. So we don't have to mess with that. Interpreter, the default is JIT. So we don't have to mess with that as well. But in the vSync option, Option. What you have to do is just go ahead and scroll here where it says use vsync new and make sure to type 0. So that's how you can disable vsync and you can turn it off by typing 0 in the use vsync option. Afterwards reduce stuttering by storing and loading generated shaders. One is default and it has been turned on. Resolution scale factor is also amazing. You can decrease the resolution scale factor to either 0.7x or 0.5x depending on your device specifications but for now I'll be keeping it at 1 because this option is very extreme and should be used only on low end devices which are unable to emulate games at 20 to 30 fps. The next option is the frame limiter which we have to disable so by default it has been turned on. So here in the use frame limit option you just have to type 0 afterwards speed limit percentage this is where you just have to type 9999 here in the frame limit just go ahead and type any random number which is greater than uh, 200 if you keep the frame limit at 200 it will mean that your game will not exceed over 60 fps 
so you can keep it at 300 if you want just above 60 fps but for extreme cases just type 9999 okay we can also decrease 3d intensity zero is set to default uh, most of these settings are not needed to be messed with we decrease the resolution we disable frame limiter and we also overclocked that should be enough so we'll just go ahead and tap on the save button and our configuration has been successfully saved for official citra android now you can use this configuration with nightly as well as canary builds so let's try out emulating pokemon x on official citra android nightly build and there we go our game has successfully started i can definitely uh, see that overclocking helped us quite a lot i was getting around 130 fps at this moment but now we are getting around 150 fps while emulating pokemon x on our android devices now let me talk about the best settings for citra canary build i'll just go ahead and go to setting let's go to graphics now spir v shader generation should be enabled our graphics api is set it to vulcan this will make sure that you get the best amount of fps possible on low end devices which have android version 10 or above only those devices who support vulcan graphics api will be able to uh, use this option without having any crashing issues so for example if you have a mediatek processor android device uh, make sure to try out the latest canary build of official citra android and i have already mentioned the other settings which you should use and we already modified the configuration as well so we don't have to do anything much here let's go back and try out a game we should get similar results as uh, the configuration for official citra android is universal we'll just need to make sure to enable show fps option and there we go we are getting around uh, 300 fps in the beginning menu we'll ignore this and let's move on towards the citra mmj android now there were some rumors that citra mmj might actually be virus but it's not really true but if you are still unsure then i recommend you guys to turn off your internet or wi-fi connection now let's move on with the best settings here you will have a lot of options so click on settings make sure to enable use dual core Internal resolution as I told you guys previously set it according to your device specification 4x resolution will mean better graphics but 1x resolution will mean better performance show fps option has been enabled enable hardware shader as well accurate multiplication keep it at fast shader type select it normal shader afterwards enable memory reuse it will improve performance speed limit percentage is present here as well we will edit this in the configuration of citra mmj new 3ds mode has been enabled cpu jit has also been enabled audio output is a uh, qbeb audio stretching has been disabled so those are the best settings for citra mmj android there are more settings once you enter the game so let me show that to you guys and if we set the speed limit to 200 percent you can see we'll get around 120 fps and here we have another settings menu where we can enable haptic feedback but we'll enable uh, skip slow draws afterwards enable geometry shader and that's about it for additional settings you can also enable fmv but i don't recommend it nowadays now let me show you guys how to modify configuration of citra mmj android in the config mmj.ini again you just have to use any file manager to open it it will be present in the citra mu folder of your internal directory it is pretty simple to edit citra mmj's configuration in frame limit just go ahead and type 9999 just like we typed before and the other settings we already uh, applied them in citra mmj itself now let's open citra mmj and start playing a game with the help of frame limiting disabled you will immediately see that our fps is exceeding over 250 previously we were only getting about 120 but now we are getting really great fps it also depends on your device you should be good to go so for snapdragon processor android devices i recommend you guys use the nightly build of official citra android and for mediatek devices you can use either citra mmj or the citra emulator canary build so that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i make similar videos on my channel see you guys next time goodbye